It's a day for it. It's a day for the best, the best horses, the best jockeys, the, the best, best trainers, mate. <laughs> oh, bless you. Somehow I'm hanging in there. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Great to see Thanks. you. Thanks, Dan, with Mick Kent. Pick of the yard, Lizzie. Oh, look, I'm going to stick uh, with Think About It. He was playing up a little bit behind the gates, but in the yard, as you saw from him, he was really relaxed. So I'm going to stick with him on top. I give Lady Laguna a really big push as well, and I thought Kovalika looked excellent. From the tab, Ben, the pick of the yard for the George Ryder. Uh, pick of the yard, I can't uh, sorry, give you. The, the hot horse. But the hot horse, V8, $7.50 <laughs> now, having halved its quote. Think about it and militarise at $4.80 each of two. Both just getting out of touch. If you were Richo, he would have said, I can do that as well, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got, Jace? Bruce, I've got to be quick. I've got to go and call this race. Um, <laughs> I've got militarise on top with Kovalika as the best ruffy, Chris Waller, to win three from three Group 1s today. Oh, that would be... I'm going to get the record books out uh, on all of that, don't worry. So, a couple to go in. It does feel like a mini Doncaster. It's going to play a huge part going forward to the championships, but it's a massive race in its own right. Winks, of course, owned it for a while for Chris. Here comes Kovalika up. Could Nash go bang, bang here? Here we go. Here's Darren Flindell. Kovalika led forward, and we're just about ready to run now. There's the light. Stand by for a jump in the George Ryder. Stand by there. Off and racing. Think about it. Jump well from the wide draw, but there's plenty rushing forward. A golden Mile is right there with V8 Band to snatch. And Cepheus, amenable, will park just behind. Now, Clipperton's looking to get in on Think About It behind the main division of the leaders. Uh, Tis Invincible's not too far away early, together with uh, Lady Laguna. And up on the inside, Mighty Ulysses, followed by Militarise, that unspoken Navajo Peak end cap. Cosmic Vega, followed then by Pericles. Uh, Tis Invincible's back in the field, in fact, followed by Lock Eagle, Kovalika. And New Energy's last of the big field races to the 900. Uh, and Cepheus charges to the lead and think about it goes to second doing the chasing Bandersnatch on the fence third V8 well positioned two lengths away to Amenable followed by Mighty Ulysses on the inside of Golden Mile two lengths further back to Lady Laguna a similar margin to Militarise on the outside of Unspoken then came Navajo Peak end cap one off the fence Cosmic Vega the rails and further back to Pericles as they straighten up now and Cephy has been challenged by think about it and think about it races to the lead Two lengths away, V8 doing the chasing, followed by Golden Mile, Lady Laguna, Militri still a long way back together with NCAP, V8 revving up now, and V8 takes the lead at the 100 from Lady Laguna running on, it's V8 and Lady Laguna, V8, Lady Laguna, V8, vroom, V8 won the George Ryder narrowly from Lady Laguna, and Militri's got going for third, followed by Think About It, further back to Golden Mile, New Energy late from Cepheus, Amenable, Tis Invincible, then came in cap from Navajo Peak, Pericles, Lock Eagle, uh, uh, Mighty Ulysses, together with Unspoken, and Cosmic Vega was one of the last. He deserved a second in the Caulfield Guineas, second in the Australian Guineas, and after that Australian Guineas, Lizzie, he grabbed us and said, we're going to the George Ryder. At the time, we thought Fangirl might be there. I'm talking about Tony McAvoy. He's been heavily backed all week. The three-year-olds won one and three. Lady Laguna was super. Think about it, well, that's what Joe's going to have to do a little, I think. But no one could deny this cult, this win. No, and no one could deny the team the win as well because they prepared him perfectly. They haven't hidden him. They've really put him up against the big guys in town and he was able to run super today. I thought one of the runs of the race has to be Lady Laguna as well. She, she was running in a slipper as a two-year-old and now she's been able to etch a group one in her last start and run so well and go down narrowly to a genuine group one performer, V8. Militarised, well, his biggest... Uh, Fly in the ointment is him getting back, and that's really tells in the end.